Hey guys. <laughs> I'm going to wait for a few people to join. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey Queen. Hey Tash. Hello guys. I hope you are doing amazing. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> it's lovely to see everyone on ya. I see in Tlandla, I see Pussy, I see Jess. Hello guys. Pascal, thank you. Christian, Melissa. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I think it's Luca. Hello guys. Can you hear me clearly? I'm just going to wait a second for some people to join before we start. Hello. So there's a question box. And if you would like to know anything specific, you can just send the questions there. I see Toto, Renee. <laughs> no. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'm going to the question section so I can maybe just answer a few questions. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's really lovely to see people actually asking how am I feeling and how am I doing and um, the support I've been receiving is unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to cry so early, <laughs> but it's simply because of all the support I've been receiving and the lovely messages and comments. Um, I'm so, so grateful to have been able to represent South Africa and make you guys proud. And before coming to Miss Universe, I just said I wanted to be the best version of myself. And if I can make everyone out there proud, I've done what I should have done. So I'm just so thankful and grateful. And um, I'm doing well. I'm obviously a little bit emotional. And I think it's quite normal. <laughs> um, but, you know, I have done everything I could. I gave my best, I showed up 110%, I've learned so much about myself, I've given everything I could. <laughs> Let me quickly see, um, thank you guys, I'm just so emotional because I've, I didn't respect, I didn't expect this response and just getting on social media and seeing people spreading so much love and support is something I've never experienced the way I've the way I did now so I'm doing I'm doing well another question so many questions <laughs> okay let's let's share everything um this is going to be quite a long live because I feel I want to share every part of my journey with you guys um Okay, let's do this. How was the whole experience? It was really everything I could have wished for and more. Like since the day I arrived up to interviews, up to prelims, I'm just so grateful that I actually had the opportunity to walk the stage. Prelims was like when I spoke to Werner afterwards, <laughs> I was like, Werner, I just felt a certain presence and I felt at peace with everything I did and I felt so content um, and I got such great feedback on my dress and um, my bikini performance guys I was so nervous about bikini because for some other reason to walk high pace is really hard for me <laughs> and just before I went up my roommate um, Estefania she was like listen you need to over exaggerate for it to look like something so I was just there on stage like overdoing the hip movements and everything um it the whole experience was amazing uh we were in the hotel a lot and i've been struggling with my eyes 
um, the whole week. So I messaged Tamron um, and I was like, listen, doctor, my eyes are so dry. What can I do? So I, um, I was quite missing being outside and luckily I get to see some of the US now, but the whole experience was amazing. Um, I don't think, um, I think it's something you guys would like to know is about the final night and all I can say is the one thing I told myself before going to Miss Universe was regardless of the outcome if I did everything I could and if I am happy with my performance I need to be content with whatever the outcome is and it was hard to accept it wasn't something I expected um, I'm still trying to understand and there's obviously not a certain answer I'm going to get at this moment um, everything happens for a reason and that's literally the only thing I can look at is saying there's a reason why I didn't make it to top 21 it's not something I understand currently it's not something I expected to happen it was it was extremely hard standing there and knowing that South Africa did so well for three years um but I gave everything and I'm proud of myself for standing there and I overcame so many things that I struggled with for such a long time. Um, when I look at my Miss Universe interview, uh, they asked me, what's the one thing that I learned about myself this past year and during this pandemic? And it just took me back to Miss South Africa saying that I actually learned how to how to embrace my vulnerability, how to put myself out there regardless of what the outcome is. And I can't go around saying to people that when I don't fully believe it. So I have to accept that I've put myself out there and that was more than enough. And in five years time, I will understand why. And I'll understand why things didn't work out like I wanted it to. Um, yeah, it's just everything went like I wanted it to go. So I'm answering this for... <laughs> Like five minutes, this is gonna be okay. Let me quickly just get it. Ooh. Get a tissue. Oh. I'm gonna acknowledge this one simply because I cannot say thank you enough. Um, that's the only thing I wanted to do was make you guys proud, and and if I did that. I'm happy. Sorry for crying, guys. I've been emotional for the last few days. Not because things didn't turn out um, the way I wanted it to. Simply because I can't believe how people are just sharing love and support towards me. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm going to read your comments. Shanae says, we miss you. I miss you, guys. I really miss you guys a lot. I can't wait to get back to South Africa. <laughs> One thing I actually want to share with you guys. Um, so Demi went, okay, came to um, Miss Universe to share some part of her unbreakable campaign and with the human trafficking. And one thing I can remember from her presentation was it's turning your mess into a message and turning your taste into a testimony. And that's something that will forever stick with me is throughout this journey, you don't always know the why, but it's simply part of the way God has paved my life. And um, if I think it's been a year since I entered, entered for Miss South Africa, and I remember I spoke so many times with Vadnet about... Um, putting yourself out there it was really hard for me to do that being vulnerable was one of my biggest struggles and now it's something I'm so comfortable with doing and that's exactly why I wanted to do this live is to show you that things don't always go as planned and I want to make you a part of this journey because you've been there every single step of the way and I want to share with you every single step after that and what I'm going to do next and my journey going forward because it doesn't stop here it doesn't end here and there are some days <laughs> that I cry and I feel sorry for myself but then there are days where I'm so filled by this and I'm so inspired with the next thing I want to do and take on and share with you guys and 
bring you along with. Um, I don't want to stop with Destiny Designed. Um, I'm going to start immediately with my clothing line when I get back. I want to do a ready-to-wear collection, do more modeling work. Um, I'm really excited for what's ahead. Um, what are my goals? So I'm seeing here what are my goals after everything. Let me just take that one away. Um, like I said, I want to start with my clothing line. So actually, before I got appointed Miss Universe South Africa, I went to the fabric shop and I saw some fabrics for my ready-to-wear collection. I want to do tops, jumpsuits, all that type of stuff, do an online shop. And now I can actually pursue that. So one step at a time, um, I'm going to Jacksonville after Missouri and then I'm flying back to South Africa. Okay, questions. There's a lot of questions. Tell us about your best day during the competition. So I would have to say it was two days, actually. My day with Fadil. Um, I don't know why, but obviously I always knew of his work. And that day just worked out perfectly, like from... The bikini he picked for me from hair and makeup to the whole atmosphere and it was it was really such a fun day and I remember like Werner and I spoke every single day and every single morning while I was doing my makeup we would FaceTime even if we weren't chatting about Miss Universe I would still speak to him and I just said Werner today was literally the most amazing day ever like yeah, it was just incredible. And then another day was interview. Um, so for the first time ever, and I don't know why, but I always stressed about interviews during my South Africa, during press conferences. And for one, for some or other reason, the day of interview, I literally texted um, Vernon and I was like, it's so weird because I'm feeling so calm and collected. Like I'm so ready it doesn't even feel 5% as bad as it was during my South Africa. This is weird. I was literally like, Bernard, I'm so calm. It's freaking me out. Um, and he was just laughing because I was really just reminding myself what I have to offer was enough. And my interview was amazing. I walked out. I was so happy. I got to share with them who I am, why I want to be Miss Universe, my best qualities, my worst qualities. Um, just be 100% myself. And interview that day was also amazing to me. And then prelims. Um, I was super excited about my gown because this was something that's been in the works for over five months, six months, and it was my favorite color. I got my gloves. Um, but I was so adamant on wearing gloves with one of my gowns and I couldn't have imagined it to, to come out better than it did. So that's the two days that stood out for me. <laughs> Let me quickly read your comments. I see people are awake at 2 a.m. <laughs> Were you starstruck when you met Zulzi for the first time? So she was actually one of my judges at Miss South Africa, and I was, to be perfectly honest. She had this... Well, that this wasn't the first time I saw her, but I remember this so vividly. She wore this purple and silver suit. It had like a little glisser. And her thighs were just like looking so good in that pants. And I was like, she's literally Miss Universe. Like <laughs> from the looks to the speak, to the face, to everything. I was in absolute awe. She's amazing. She's really, really, this last 17 months, she took Miss Universe to a level that is impeccable. And I was so proud during Miss Universe to listen to her speak because I was like, she's South African. Like I was so, so proud. Next one. Okay, let's go to the question section. <laughs> Getting distracted, yeah. Thank you, guys. I see your comments.
I'm going to answer this question simply because I feel like everyone expects you to have your life all figured out. You know, you've been on the Miss Universe stage and I spoke to Demi afterwards and I want people to know that you don't always have things figured out. I don't even know if I'm going to stick with my hair color or go back to my natural hair color. I really do not know what my life looks like in five years time I can't answer that now it's um and it's normal I want people to see that everything doesn't go perfectly like you plan things to go and uh, that's why I wanted to do this live is to show you that yes I cried yes I was disappointed but yet I was also inspired by, by not placing um to just know there's a different plan and path for my life and it's sometimes difficult to understand because you think of the whole of South Africa you think of not even one African to place in the top 21 you think of your organization your coach and your designer where I couldn't have even showed my final dress the jeweler that made my earrings and you do feel some sort of disappointment um, and I and I did feel a bit blindsided and it's normal I want people to know that the emotions are on like both ends, positive and negative. Um, and I'm going to work through them. And I'm just so thankful that I get to do that with all of you. <laughs> you are beautiful. You are enough. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. So everyone's asking what was my final gown. Um, I will be sharing it when I get back in South Africa and when I am ready because it it deserves all the exposure and I want people to see it and I was really excited to wear that gown on the night and there's a reason why I didn't and um, I'm going to share it with you guys I hope you guys love it I'm absolutely in love it's something so different and Yulandi and the Yula Shea team worked extremely hard on that dress and it, it just deserves um, all the recognition still so proud of you thank you Thank you. Let's quickly see who's requesting to join the video. Maybe Werner can join me. 